Even by mob standards, it was shocking. Two men wearing ski masks pumped three bullets into a civilian, a woman, a mother, wounding but not killing her. The idea of attacking a woman, attacking a relative, attacking someone outside of the, ma of, of the mafia, it would, it would have been considered in the old days an infamia, a um, infamous act. Patricia Capazzola's apparent crime, her brother, Pete Chiodo, is a former mob enforcer turned informer. Like Sammy the Bull Gravano, who's been testifying for more than a week, Chiodo is a possible government witness in the murder and racketeering trial of mob boss John Gotti. For myself or for a guy like Sammy or for a guy like Pete, you know, we expect that. You know, we live by the gun, we die by the gun. Mob informant Henry Hill gained worldwide fame after his life story became the movie Goodfellas. The shooting of a blood relative like Mrs. Capazzola, he says, sends a strong and powerful message. The message was keep your mouth shut because uh, no one is safe any longer. In the short term, prosecutors fear that message may be heard, that it may become more difficult to get inside information. People who maybe wanted to become informants or in the future would want to become informants are going to think twice about it because of their family. But in the long term, experts believe the attempt against Mrs. Capazzolo shows just how wounded the Mafia now is. The Mafia is doomed. I mean, it is, it is, and it is acting like an organization that is in panic, that recognizes that it's doomed. Step right up. Read the story behind the headlines. Outside the Brooklyn courthouse where the Gotti trial continued, the extra attention was just what the hawkers of a new biography wanted. Clearly, the public is still fascinated by the mob, but tonight, its latest apparent victim remains hospitalized under 24-hour police guard. Jacqueline Adams, CBS News, Brooklyn.